Now we want to define a query using Nexus that will return all links that we have. So we want to define the links query. So in the GraphQL folder, if we go to types and then the link.ts file, we will add the following code for defining a query using Nexus and we'll go over it. So we have uh, just, we're saying export const links query and then we're saying extend type. So this extend type function comes from Nexus and it allows us to define queries. So we're extending the query type and we're attaching to it a links field. So what we're just saying is that t dot not null. So this links field is not null, and it's uh, it's a list of type link. So once you get used to the syntax, it will be very intuitive. So what we're saying is that okay, um, we have this links query. It returns a list of type link, and we're then defining the resolver along with the query. So like everything is in one place. So we're saying just resolve and we have the uh, underscore parent, underscore args, and then the context, and we're just returning context.prisma.link.findMini. So now if we hit save, and again, go to localhost 3000 slash API slash GraphQL, and now uh, the schema.graphql should be updated. So if I go to it, I can see that I have a query uh, called links, and it will return an array of type link, and it's not nullable. And now if I click query your server, I should be able to see that query. So now we don't need this okay anymore field. And I can just say link, and I want to return the title, URL, description, image URL, for example. And when I run it, data is fetched from my database. And it works. So let's just put it into table view. And this is the data that we have in the database. And that is how we define a query using Nexus.